Welcome to Navigating Edison State. In this video, we are going to give you an overview of student resources and helpful tips which will set you up for a successful transition to Edison State. Thanks for watching. Here you will see a list of all the topics that will be discussed in this video. Also, all of these topics are also discussed in your online new student orientation, so let's get started. First, I want to turn it over to Dr. Larson, President of Edison State Community College for our welcome. Welcome to Edison State Community College. I am Dr. Doreen Larson, the President of Edison State. On behalf of the trustees, faculty and staff of Edison State, I thank you for making us your college of choice. Students have many reasons for enrolling at Edison State such as staying close to home, saving money, playing sports, and exploring careers. But students stay at Edison State for one reason. They succeed. I can assure you that each of your course faculty will go overboard to help you in your course. We have remote tutoring available 24-7 and face-to-face -face tutoring available during the week. We have professional advisors with expertise in your specific career pathway. You will get a lot of great information in this orientation session, and it will answer a lot of questions you have about student activities, student government, financial aid, registration, work experience options, and transfer opportunities. And all of this information can be overwhelming, but you can save this presentation and revisit the video as often as you need. Before I go, allow me to share a couple of tips that will make a huge difference in your starting semester at Edison State. First, acquire and use your Edison State email. Your Edison State email account is the number one way that we get information to you on extra college funding changes in class and schedules, work opportunities, college events, and more. You need to activate your Edison State email and you need to use it often. The second tip is to always reach out early to your faculty instructor for every course. Take a few minutes, send them an email, use your Edison State email account, introduce yourself, and make sure that you have a connection to the faculty member and that your Blackboard access is solid. Don't wait until you are weeks into the semester and realize that you have course or connection issues. So two tips, use your email and connect with your faculty. These two actions will help you avoid time wasting lapses in communication and they'll put you front and center for financial and learning opportunities. As president of Edison State, I sincerely appreciate your trust in us as you move forward with your career. In return, our Edison State team guarantees our best efforts on your behalf each and every day. I would love to hear from you as you progress through your program at Edison State. Please reach out to me at any time if you have questions, success, suggestions, or issues of concern. I can be reached at dlarson at edisonohio.edu. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Larson. Now let's dive into your student accounts. Your student accounts are your gateway to all of your resources, including Edison State's Campus Computers, Blackboard, My ESCC, and your Edison State email. It will take approximately 48 to 72 hours after you register for classes for your student accounts to be generated. Initially, you have a default password that is required to be changed every 90 days. We encourage you to enroll in SSRPM Self-Service Reset Password Management to change your default password. This will assist you with changing your password at a later date. Our IT Help Desk webpage also has many helpful topics that will help you with technical issues such as resetting your password, finding your username, accessing your Edison State email, and much more. We will dive more into our technology resources later in this video. 
We have replaced WebAdvisor with a new self-service called MyESCC. MyESCC is designed to help you understand your degree requirements, plan courses, and track progress towards your degree completion. MyESCC lets you register for classes, see your schedule, access final grades, request a transcript, financial aid, and much more. Need help navigating MyESCC? Check out your online new student orientation or Edison State's YouTube channel for helpful how-to videos. Your Edison State email is highly important. This is our main way of contacting you while you are a student. We will not use your personal email as your advisors and professors will use your Edison State email to contact you. We recommend you creating a habit of checking your email once, if not twice a day, to make sure you are catching any important updates. Blackboard is Edison State's learning management system. The way you'll use Blackboard depends on a few factors, the delivery mode for the courses you are enrolled in and how your professor decides to use the platform. In Blackboard, you can communicate with your professor, submit assignments such as tests, quizzes, papers, and much more. You can also check your progress in each course to see how you are doing and to make sure you are staying on track in that course. When you first log into Blackboard, you will see our institution page. There you will find reminders, resources, and events happening around campus, so make sure you scroll through that page to see what is new. Lastly, courses aren't often visible to you in Blackboard until your instructor opens it. Now let's talk about your IT resources. Here at Edison State, we have a 24 seven help desk that you are able to reach out to if you need help with anything. All students have a free Office 365 account. One of the features in Office 365 is called the OneDrive. This allows you to access your files at any time, anywhere that you have internet access. You can also easily work with others on a document in your OneDrive by using the share feature. We also have SSRPM, which allows you to reset your password by yourself at any time. To use this system, you have to enroll in it first. Again, you are required to change your password every 90 days, so we highly encourage you to enroll in SSRPM as soon as possible. Office 365 is a cloud-based service that holds your Edison State email, calendar, Word, Excel, along with the several other applications. As a student, you can download Office 365 to your personal computer. You can download it by logging in to your Office 365 account and selecting the Install Office button in the top right corner of your screen. You are also able to get your Edison State email on your phone or tablet by downloading the Outlook mobile app. If you have any related IT questions, you can contact our help desk by calling them at 937 778-7957. You can email them at support at edisonohio.edu or use the live chat feature on their website at edisonohio.edu slash IT help desk. Whether you're taking classes online, in person, or at your high school, you will need to know how to navigate Edison State's resources and online tools. As a new student, you are required to complete new student orientation, which will set you up for a successful transition to Edison State. New student orientation is currently held online through Blackboard. This is a self-paced experience comprised of two main parts, orientation topics and course completion modules. This online experience allows you the flexibility to complete orientation from anywhere at any time that is convenient for you. Once you have completed the orientation topics, you will need to complete the course completion assignments. There are six assignments that you are required to complete in order to earn your certificate. These assignments will demonstrate your ability to perform certain tasks and utilize certain tools that will prepare you for success in taking courses at Edison State. New student orientation is also a resource that is available to you throughout your time as a student. If you need help accessing new student orientation, use the QR code on the bottom of the screen or go to edisonohio.edu slash orientation for more information. The Edison State Bookstore is operated by Follett and is located at the Pickwick campus. 
The bookstore carries all books and required course materials for Edison State courses. Books are offered in the following options, rentals, e-textbooks, used and new. Textbooks are generally available two weeks before the start of each semester. For our traditional students, you can order your books from our website at bkstr.com slash Edison CC store or using the first QR code. Pickup or shipping is available. For our College Credit Plus students, courses at your high school, the books are provided by your high school. If you are taking courses at an Edison State campus or online, they are free for public school students. If you attend a private school or are homeschooled, books are free for the amount of credit hours you were awarded from the state. You will need to fill out the CCP bookstore order form at edisonohio.edu slash books or using the second QR code. Once your order is processed, you will receive an email that your books are ready for pickup at the PICWA campus. Be sure to watch your Edison State email for information regarding textbook pickup and return dates. The Edison State Library houses an elaborate array of academic resources and services and a highly knowledgeable and helpful staff that is always ready to assist you. All students have a library number which will give you access to our databases from off campus, as well as to request books from OhioLINK. Your library number is 1973 followed by your seven digit student ID number. Make sure you include the zero. An example would be 1973 0123456. There are many library resources that are available for you to use. There are over 125 different library databases, which include ebooks, journals, magazines, and much more. We also are part of Ohio Link, so say if there is an article or book that we don't have access to, it can be requested and delivered to any Edison State campus. Our Live Guides is a custom web page containing instructions and resources for a particular class or assignment. They also have a series of library video tutorials on their website. If you need help with research assistance, you can reach out to our library and they will be able to help you. All Edison State students also receive free tutoring assistance. Tutoring is available for many subjects, including various levels of math, and they are also available to review writing assignments. We have also partnered with Ohio eTutoring Collaborative, enabling us to provide online tutoring support for students. You will have access to online professional tutoring services in many subject areas. To see a full list and schedule of what is offered, please visit edisonohio.edu slash tutoring center or using the QR code. We have partnered with Rave Mobile Safety to provide an emergency alert system called Edison Alerts. You are automatically enrolled into this program, but to receive alerts via text, personal email, phone, you must complete the registration process. You can complete the registration process by going to getrave.com slash login slash Edison Ohio or using the QR code. You will receive alerts via your Edison State email only if you do not complete the registration process. So again, if you want to receive alerts via text, personal email, phone, you must complete the registration process. For course cancellations or communication, please refer to your Edison State email. Like we said earlier, be sure to make a habit of checking your email once, if not twice a day, to make sure you are not missing out on any important information. Now I'm going to turn it over to Becca Lindemann, Associate Professor of English, to talk to you about success tips for your classes. Hi everyone, my name is Becca Lindemann. I'm an Associate Professor of English over at the Greenville campus, and I wanted to share some success tips for college for you. I always tell my students the most important thing to being successful in college is time management. Uh, finding that balance between work and school and family responsibilities and friends uh, can be really difficult. So I recommend you plan ahead, create a to-do list, find a routine, get a planner, whatever works best for you. To help you out with that, you should definitely check your syllabus. 
And all instructors will provide a syllabus for you with class policies as well as an outline of the schedule. So you can always look ahead and see, okay, what weeks are going to be really busy for me? When can I do uh, work and things like that? So take advantage of that resource. If you have trouble um, with organizing or researching or any subjects, we do have support that is available. Uh, you can go to advising, office hours, the library and tutoring center. Uh, everybody here is here to help you. So don't be afraid to ask for help and visit those resources. Studying is pretty different uh, in college. You, your class might only meet once or twice a week, so there's a lot more homework between days. You can expect to spend about two hours per week for every credit hour. So if you're taking a three credit hour class, you can expect to spend about six hours on that class a week. Take good notes. That is a skill to learn and is important, but also make sure that you take a break because you will have a su substantial amount of work to do, reading and writing especially. And so taking that break to clear your mind, even if it's just five minutes, is really, really important. Grades are also different. Um, so tests and papers are going to be the most of points for your grade. So if you don't do well on your tests and papers, that can really hurt your grade where there's not as much extra work in between. So make sure you are studying and spending time on those papers. And get to know your professors. The syllabus is going to outline all of their policies and their contact information, and every professor will have a different teaching style. Some will be very formal, some will be more informal, some will accept late work, and some don't. So it's really important that you take the time to figure out what's going on in this classroom. I hope that helps you succeed, and of course, always ask questions. Thanks, Becca. Now let's talk about some registration lingo. When you hear the term drop or refund, it means you are removing yourself from that course prior to the drop refund deadline. This means you will receive a 100% refund and it does not impact your GPA. When you hear the term withdrawal, it means you are removing yourself from that course after the drop refund deadline. This means you will not receive a refund and this will not impact your GPA. You will receive a W for that course on your transcript though. For our College Credit Plus students, if you withdraw from a course, you will have to pay your high school for that course. For a list of drop and withdrawal dates, please visit our academic calendar or use the QR code for important academic dates. More than 61% of students attending Edison State received some form of financial aid, including loans, grants, scholarships, and or part-time work study employment. Completing the free application for federal student aid, also known as the FAFSA, is your first step in applying for federal student aid. The FAFSA is available to all students on October 1st of each year, and you must submit your FAFSA annually. If you have any questions about financial aid, you can contact our financial aid department at financialaid at edisonohio.edu. You can also visit edisonohio.edu slash paying for college for helpful information as well. We will work with you to provide payment options that meet your needs. You can pay your bill using cash, check, or credit card. If you are using a credit card, you can make your payment online using My ESCC. If you are unable to pay your balance in full, you have the option of utilizing the deferred payment plan. This option allows you to break your fall and spring semester balances into four payments. Your summer balance can be split into two payments. For a list of payment due dates, please visit the academic calendar or use the QR code. Wrapping up this presentation, be sure to follow us on social media. We have Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. We also have a Facebook page for each of our regional locations as well. We post different information about what it's like to be an Edison State student, success tips, resources, deadlines, reminders, campus events, and much more. Here is a list of all of our advisors. If you are a College Credit Plus student, feel free to reach out to our CCP email and we can get you in contact with the appropriate enrollment manager. Also, feel free to reach out to our advisors with any questions or concerns that you may have. If you still have questions, feel free to reach out to us. We are available by email, phone, and you can find a lot of helpful information from our website as well. We are all here to help make you successful during your time at Edison State.